Hello, welcome back. So I've been playing a little bit and I have farmed and you have to go over here to the blacksmith, buy the first axe because it's almost free to only one gold coin and then you can craft other things. I think it restocks his inventory if you leave the game, but I'll not try that right now. I don't want anyone to cheat, right? <laughs> so for 95 gold coins you can actually get a weapon that is comparable to the titanium ones. I guess the titanium ham war hammer or hammer is a bit an overkill. Yeah, sorry again about the FPS. They still don't really fix the FPS on this place. <laughs> or maybe it's just one developers. It's Len Island because it's Len's game, right? Well, I, as soon as I crafted my tit titanium one. Uh, Axe, I get a hardened steel battle axe. So I just want to see if it cuts down tree. I guess this one is kind of like the hybrid weapon because it can kill enemies, kill grass and kill trees. Oh yeah! It cuts down tree in um, two hits. So what's the point of the axe? But well, I guess the woodcutting axe is only meant for you to cut the hardened wood. As you can see, I've harvested all of my vegetables and <laughs> vegetables and fruits. I'm mean, yeah, more like a farmer than uh, an explorer. Also have some fish, cooked fish. Also have some wheat over there. Also, just look at how many recipes you have with bread. And I'll be making oil because I have the olives now. I'm not sure how we make it. And that will allow us to increase the speed of which we gather stuff from the earth. Remember, we have a machine that digs into the earth over there. And I assume... Oh yeah, I think there is one over there as well. I just need to put some olive oil into it and it will work perfectly. I'm not sure what the point of that would be. I guess it's to prevent you or to make... It, I, okay, so those machines will make you... Make you be able to only stay on your island and build stuff because if you don't need minerals, hardwood is not really used for anything else except to upgrade. I guess you can just play the game normally and build it on your island. I guess that would work more or less. Hmm. Anyway, the game has a weird progression scheme because as you can see, if you just have 95 gold, you can get the hard and steel battle axe. Which basically takes the role of, of three or four tools, if you think about it. Of course, it's not top of the line, but it will definitely help you with most problems in the game, including enemies. <laughs> That's a really fun way to collect. I also wish there were more birds. And yeah, the only thing that's missing, like I said, is a sea serpent. Or maybe some dolphins, you know, nothing... Not all of the things in the water have to kill you or eat you. So, if my workshop is leveled to the max, that means I... Cannot get a better boat or other buildings. So I guess this is most of the content that is available in the game right now. It stops raining as soon as we reach the desert island. How charming. That was a lot of damage. Okay, let's take a bath before we go in. Don't want to smell. The enemies will sense you. And now comes the hard part. People have been saying there is a lot of platforming in this dungeon. We'll just see. We will probably... Probably I will make a few videos and we will see the best options for us. I don't think the best options are gear or level ups because there's not much you can select. I mean, the hammer probably will do the job as good as the battle axe. And vice versa. The sword will do as good as of a job as with the hammer or the battle axe. I don't know. I guess the only real upgrade is the light on your backpack, which <laughs> makes this look like outward so much. Well, I guess outward didn't patent the lantern on the backpack style, but still.
This is the first time we've seen we're seeing those things, the lamps. I guess if you try hard enough, it's even good to break the stones. But that's a shortcut, but we can only access it later. Okay, let's enter the... what? Oh, you entered the tomb of the tomb now. Okay, okay. I like this style. I mean, we are basically entering a secondary dungeon. <laughs> Okay. I guess the only... Wait, no. It's one-handed. I mean, sort of. So I guess the axe really doesn't have any disadvantages. Oh, that's so fun. The Titanium Axe okay, has a different skill. I'm not sure about this, the titanium hammer has another skill, so instead of doing another AoE attack, you do a jump attack. Which seems buggy at best, because you <laughs> your enemy will charge you and then you jump over him and attack the ground. Oh, so much wheat. I guess we're making pies today. You jump over them and... And even if you don't jump over them, the damage is still... I don't know what to say about this. Why would they do it like this? So basically, the first, I mean, the other hammer is much better than this one because this one has a stupid attack which makes you hover over your enemies and you don't hit anything with that attack. And even if you hit something, the damage is minimal. I guess the battle axe is not good either because it doesn't have the skill needed to attack those guys in AoE. See? Cannot believe you. You have an inferior weapon that is better than your much more expensive and advanced weapon. The speed is slow, so I guess this is not better. It, it only has one skill. Same for this one. Well, I cannot believe I died to those silly enemies. Now we just have to enjoy another round of sailing. Oh boy. I guess I'll keep that in the video because... Uh, it's meant to showcase certain elements of the game that I'm not really happy about. And the game is still kind of um, new in my opinion because it's, well, I guess it's new for early access. 
they can still work a lot on the game, but to be honest, I feel like the game it's missing a lot of important elements, especially the ones that are designed to lower the amount of busy work you need to do. Like you can make the farms water themselves, but that's that's a very complicated process. You need to build a water tower, a pump, and then you need to place something, I don't know. You need to place them near a water source or whatever. Maybe I'm overcomplicating things, but it seems like it's a lot of resources for just not needing to water your crops. I guess that would give you money every time you go on an adventure, but still. The other major problem is the combat itself. It seems like you can just jump over any enemy and you will not get hit. Which is great, but it seems at some point the enemy just decides, hey, I'll hit you anyway. There's also no attack cancellation, no animation cancellation, so most of the times if you miss your attack or the enemy misses and you try to attack them or if you try to attack again, you, I don't know, it just feels like it's a lot of wasted time and you're basically going to see your enemy hitting in slow motion and you can't do anything about it. Uh, like that time was over there in combat, I guess I should just move my... Yeah, I guess this will work a little better. <laughs> I can see some people will have 5 or 10 ships near the entrance. I really don't see any reason to replace the hammer. Maybe the spear is better, but most of the times your problem is not a duel with an enemy. Or most of the times the problem will be many enemies trying to duel you. And you can mitigate the problem of the lower, lower gear tier by just getting more skills, getting more passive stats to increase uh, attack, attack speed and critical. Which again is a little bit weird because you have a lot of offensive perks, passive abilities, but you don't have anything for your defense. Uh, well, you still have the HP increase, but still. Not enough in my opinion, not enough. Okay, try for another loading screen. Yeah, and it's not even that the dying is painful or you lose items. No, the pain is coming back over here on a slower ship. Oh, the inhumanity of it. Wait, where did I die? That's another problem, yeah. Couldn't even see where I died. Oh yeah, at least for this combat, I prefer the hammer because it also has the knockdown, stun chance. Overall seems a lot better. The game also does kind of a poor job at giving you good loot, so most of the times you'll just find that the random loot is not really worth picking up even. And you're just better off having a bigger economy at home. And that's... 
Is it really worth it to go up there? Oh, okay. I can see why people don't like the platforming. I don't like it either. Yeah, probably it was worth it. Oh, and this opened the secret compartment over here. That was a nice, um, much nicer chest. Here we go. Oh, actually, that produces a lot of light. Welcome to 10 FPS. Yeah, that was a bit annoying, because you can barely control your movement over there. How much does the grill sardine give in terms of HP? The grill sardine barely gives any HP, so... <laughs> so why even bother with them? I guess you just have to load up on fruits. That was a lot of annoying stuff. Yeah, sorry for the FPS over there. The game has a problem with so many enemies on screen. Uh, can I fall down? Probably. That was fun. Oh yeah, definitely, this is the best weapon in the game. Maybe not in all situations, but it seems to handle most situations. I really need healing potions. The heal zone is over here, wow. I really need healing potions, otherwise this takes forever to heal, especially because you have to jump and press a button. I would rebind some of the eating to the mouse buttons, if I could do it.
Oh, that's so good. Well, I tried. That's just too strong. Achievement unlocked lit farm. I don't know what's that for. I guess we're just progressing very slowly and nicely. I guess this is the storeroom for the treasures. Okay, I almost fell down again. So apparently you don't really have to be here, unless you really want to. It's very suspicious that it has so many quiet places. I see what he's doing, but how do you use this? I'm afraid I don't understand, because you don't really have a way to move items in the game, so... Oh. I suppose you have to jump over there and turn them off. Okay, that's kind of bad. I knew I, I mean, okay, whatever game. I knew you have to jump down to deactivate them. Oh, oh, we have to do this in a fast sequence. But what if you miss it like that? Oh no. Even that causes you to take damage. Well, I guess you have to do it without the, the shield. I can tell you, this would become super annoying at some point. Because this game is not really known for its accuracy in puzzles. Made it well, okay. That's super annoying. A game like this should never be based on uh, you know platforming, but okay, okay, it's Lens Island, it's not, it's not super intuitive combat simulator.
Okay, same problem as before. You need a map to navigate these caves. You'll either get lost or you'll fall down at some point. Okay, I think that's a shortcut I just unlocked. Maybe it is, I don't know, the game is so weird about the information. Okay, let's collect the rabbit droppings and just go further into the dungeon. I guess that platforming part was not so bad, but still, in a game like this... Oh yeah, definitely I'll upgrade my skills rather than change my weapon. I wonder, can the developers make it darker in here? Oh, so there's not much of a point. To go over there. I assume there was an enemy. Can't see anything. Huh, we must be going the right way if we can find the healing um, the healing spot. We did level up quite a bit in this area, I like it. I guess now I should save up for this. No, not that one, maybe that one. I guess it doesn't really matter which one. I've been playing for quite a bit. Okay, let's go down here. So they just spawned over here? I thought there would be a spawner. Oh, okay, it was worth it. Oh man, if you die here, you have to travel so much to come back. I hope that we can activate the shortcut soon. Egg sack, egg sack attack doesn't sound too menacing to be honest. It actually sounds very bad. There are more of them.
Oh. Okay, I didn't even notice the spikes. Man, the game has some funny things going on. Can we go back and heal? Okay, let's relax a little bit. So many level ups. So unlocked, unlocked. Well, to be honest, it seems like pure damage is the best way to go. Also, let's check, <laughs> let's check my fruit stocks. Mangoes are holding up. Oh, actually, it's going very well for us. Well, to be honest, I don't think I'll need the hardened battle axe in here. So I guess I came with some bananas over there and uh, melons over there. Okay. No one is going to be left behind. Hmm. Seems like this is the wrong way to go. So I'll go over here first so I can get all of the loot. I want the forged hammer. Finally, a weapon that is to my liking. Oh, and this just loops around, okay. So I guess this is the second uh, legendary item we can get. <laughs> it does sound pretty beefy and it also has the skills I want. Yeah, not going to happen. Not today. Hmm, I guess that will lead us out of the dungeon or somewhere else. Okay, so before we leave, I just want to pick up everything that is... ...over here. Or at least most of it, because I'm pretty sure I skipped two more areas behind me, which I'm not very interested in going back and exploring, and also I don't know how to get up there to that thing. Do I care? No, not really. I don't think I care enough to try and get up there. <laughs> Especially when it seems like there's no way to do it. Might be related to the ledges. What? They really expect you to do this? Yeah, that's not hard to do, but it's... If the columns were not broken... Sure, 100%. Okay, let's try it a couple of more times and then I'll give up. Or I... Yes, no, you're not able to do that. Whew. How much do I want it? Very badly. Okay, let's... We'll give it one or two more tries then. Probably find another place where we can activate the artifact and that hammer had basically double the damage so I guess you don't have to build anything You can probably finish the entire game more or less with just building the battle hammer The hardened battle hammer for 95 gold and then coming to this place over here and getting the Big big hammer the strong hammer Well on the other hand, I don't think I could have finished the area without my hammer because you just get swarmed and they swarm you. Hmm. Maybe the developer should put some other mechanics on them. They should not be able to swarm you and surround you like that. They should have an attack and uh, leave kind of behavior. Attack and retreat. Hmm. 
I think the problem over here is I'm not sure if I should jump or dodge or, or just jump over here. Oh, well, that explains. Okay, that solves the mystery. Wait a minute, what's what's this? Ouch. Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just go. But I fell down again. <laughs> I guess I'm not as nimble as I think, but I did solve that little jumping puzzle. Can I see the stats again? Yes, yeah, so... Speed is low, low. 25 and 50. 20 and 50. Knockback is high. So that basically will double my damage. I mean, it's still an RNG thing, but... With my stats and that weapon, we're invincible. We're invincible, I just need to find the chest. Oh yeah, probably I could have gone down to the elevator, I could have probably walked another pathway. Oh yeah, this is a huge place. Yeah, exactly as I thought, so that's the main dungeon and then you can come over here and repair this thing. And go and fight the big boss. Well, I guess it makes sense. Probably I can go back into the elevator area and select a hammer, but yes, it's too hard. I don't remember the exact pathway to go to the elevator. So I'll just go outside and find the boat and I'll switch my weapons like that. We're nearing the end game content for the dungeon itself or for the exploration part. We still have a lot of things to do in the city and farm a lot of things. Oh, come on, it... It's so annoying. That's a bad plan. That was too much work for simply getting my hammer. Sometimes I hate this game. The only reason I died over there is because I had to fiddle with my equipment instead of playing the game, because that's how the game believes it should be played. <sighs> so that was the first time I equipped the hammer and I didn't see the skills, because you have to look at the skills themselves to see the shortcuts. Okay, whatever game. So, what was the problem? Oh, it, my weapon didn't even change. Oh, this is a one-handed... It's a two-handed weapon. Oh, come on, game. Why would you do something like that? Until this point, you never have a mechanic like this, and now you have a mechanic like that.
So I guess that's still the best weapon. Have a lot of mangoes and Okay, we'll try to kill the boss in one go. If it doesn't work, I'll try it in the next video. That's so annoying. Why don't they explain that to you? It's a two-handed weapon. It's the only I'm having these problems in many many games. But the developers just don't explain anything and you have to go by instinct. Most of the times the instinct the instinct is not right. Uh, I guess I just want to try the boss to tonight in this episode because I don't want to do it again. Especially because you have so many deaths that you just die like that like an idiot. I guess I just have to change the weapons. That's good for clearing nests and that's just good for fighting in general. It's a big nerf to my defensive potential so that's what why I don't like it. Because I basically take... 45% more damage if I don't have the shield. And you only have 200 health, which is another problem. Okay, so let's just keep going straight. Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> like I said, you'll have a lot of boats in that area. I have to try and build a weapon rack, just to see how it is. Easy, easy, don't... Get a, don't get distracted. So you have to build a wooden water tower and the wooden wind wheel. And then probably the water pump? Oh well. It's not, it's not going to cost me a lot of resources, but as you can see, it's a bit of a wood intensive thing. Oh, I dropped a lot of food. The damage on this is unbelievable. Yeah, I guess I do take a lot more damage, but no, 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 no. Sorry, shield. I don't think I want you in my life again. It's just too strong. I mean, it has a lot of one-shot potential as opposed to that other one. Oh, yeah. I guess you can try the boss, like I said a couple of times. Yeah, that was a 50 damage hit. So with the stats of your character and the stats of the weapon, you're basically going to do three times the amount of damage you normally would do. I guess if you kill everything and you only get it once, it doesn't really matter if you have enough health to survive. Yeah, so I guess I can get it as long as I have enough health to survive. And let's see the boss. Probably it's a disgusting boss, it's big, it's strong and it's going to be super hard to kill. Anyway, the point was to show you the boss in this episode because I might die the next one. <laughs> yeah, I mean I didn't plan on dying but... I, usually I want to showcase the game in its true form, not in the sugar coated form.
Oh, maybe I should destroy the creature spawners first. I cannot really combo with them. Well, this will take a while. I guess the troll is stuck somewhere. I think you... I, I think the skills refresh slower than normally. Wait, where did these guys come from? Oh, you still get hit, okay. Okay, you still get hit if you stand on top of that thing, that's good to know. Well, at least my mango supply is holding up. Yeah, it's harder to see the timing on the attacks. Oh wow, so this is like in those video games people make fun of you. How are you full health after I hit you? Well, <laughs> eating all of my inventory, so I'm level 7, I guess I can take one of the... 
Ah, ja, das geht. Ja, warte, warte. That was not so bad, I mean, you just have to be sure you have enough food and you avoid the hits. Yeah, this was a crazy boss fight, to be honest. So I guess I can come back later and explore the rest of the dungeon. So I guess the first thing you do is destroy the spawners, next uh, attack the troll a little bit until it gets to half HP and then just to walk away and attack it with full health. Oh, this boss would be terrible if you don't have all of your stats, I mean look at me. I am basically all maxed out on the stats except the special ones, but those don't really give you a combat advantage, maybe this one if you die. Or this one, ability cooldown which I'll definitely take as soon as I can. Okay, that was actually worth it with those resources. Uh, well, I didn't find any NPC or anything over here, so I guess we'll just... B oh, I have to go back and get my ship. Oops, I forgot about it. I'm curious what message you get now for doing all of this. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the whole process with me dying a few times, having a lot of farm space, having everything. Because otherwise I would feel like I would kind of be lying to you if this was a good combat. It's, it's a combat. So after you finish this, that's it. You don't have anything else left to do. Hmm. I guess we can go back and uh, see what else, what else can happen. Yeah, so this is basically the end of the combat or the exploration content in the game currently. Well, I guess it does end with you getting a very powerful weapon. Is this always going to respawn? I guess you can fight the troll again? How do you lower that one? It does seem like the game suggests you could technically fight the troll again. But I don't think anyone will want to do that. Oh, that was actually a pretty tricky secret. Hmm, oh. That's very nice. Okay, let's explore a little more until maybe for five more minutes, maybe to find something else as a secret. I'm worried about that, so I killed the troll. No, no, it should count. I mean, the developer introduces new content. We should get the troll kill as counted, right? Because it's an X, so we don't really have any other dungeon. Okay, okay. I was worried for a moment there, but yeah, it counts, so... We don't have to worry about needing to do the dungeon again. I guess we'll just go forward. Oh, don't tell me everything is reset. Well, I guess it should be reset, except for the enemies. <laughs> they gave me bread. <laughs> After all of that hard work, I only got bread. Yeah, I think that will be the title. What else can you do over here? Ah, I love it when I'm in the light. Oh, and this is the storeroom where, okay, where you get all of that loot. 
Hmm, interesting. I think this is also bugged. You shouldn't really get all of these items back. Well, I guess I shouldn't really complain about it. Yeah, it is, okay. So basically only the containers respond. I like that torch on the floor, it's a nice detail. Oops. Okay, let's go back because I think on the left side we didn't really explore. And this is all I wanted to do. Because I think this is the elevator area, yeah. I just hit them normally. Oh, this even makes the mining easier. I guess this really is the universal hammer now. Was that a trap door? I don't remember anything with fire pits. Oh wow, actually no no no, this dungeon is huge, you have so many options and variables. Did they ever come here? I don't remember coming here either. Full of essence of... Yeah, I'm all darked out. <laughs> Can you make the jump? Yeah, um, okay. Let's not destroy those chests, just in case we needed to make the jump. Even more with, I guess. Okay, that actually gives us all of the wheat we need for cooking. Wait, how? I don't think it's really worth exploring the dungeon more than this. Where am I? Oh, so we're back at the beginning of the dungeon. So I guess we explored 90% of the dungeon at least. And we got most of the resources anyway. Maybe there are some stick some secrets left, but as long as they're not items I'm okay with leaving. And besides, I don't want to risk dying again or you know wasting too many of my items. I think I'll just have to farm the town from now on and then I might come back later when I need to I don't know kill some enemies far more essence of darkness. A pretty cool map in general. The boss fight itself was a little 
I don't know, a little disappointing overall. The FPS was very low and I just kept getting hit by rocks. <clears throat> okay, so I want to show you how I'll safely get on the boat and then I'll end the video. Well, I think I had fun with the game in the early access, but if I if you bought the game in early access the first time it appeared, no, that would have been a mistake. I guess now it's okay. I have to start my bread making empire. You know what? You know what? I think you'll kill me if I stay here longer. So this doesn't have a second attack? No, okay, so that's the problem. This doesn't have a secondary attack. You cannot channel the attacks like you normally would with the other hammer. I guess I really need the increased, the reduced cooldown. Oh. Eh, I guess I have a little more. I'll just leave the boats as they are over there. Maybe I'll need more. Oh, we use so much coal. Well, I can attend the video with stuff in my face. Okay, so that's basically the end of the adventure and the combat content for now. I'll just have to focus on, you know, doing the... The town and my base from now on. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.